Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome to Michael's Fish Room. Today, Pond Central, Michael's Fish Room style. That's right, folks, guppy ponds, mutt guppy ponds, breeding for profit guppy ponds, all the guppy ponds you want. Grab yourself a snack and a beverage, hit that subscribe button, boop the notification bell, and stand by. All right, fishy folks, we're back in the pond section of the backyard. Uh, you can see the 200 gallon tubs. They have guppies in them. Uh, I've had heaters in them for uh, this one for about a week, that one for more than two weeks. This has some grass guppies in it. I wanna see what we get. No air stone, just grass guppies. <clears throat> I thought I had a bug problem turns out they were just large mosquito larvae because this netting is great it lets water in and sun in doesn't really let bugs in or out so i may change it i'm not sure yet <clears throat> uh, this one has mutt guppies in it and uh, we can take a quick look here i don't know what we're going to be able to see i don't know if you can see them there's a real nice blue one pretty excited about that uh, this has some stuff that Keith sent me. Of course, I can't remember the name because I'm an idiot. So you guys know what this is. But these things multiply like crazy, like this one, this one, and this one. All the those three are all new. So I'll, you know, I'll duplicate all these and then add them to the ponds as they grow. He sent me this stuff, uh, which is growing real nice, and of course duckweed because there's duckweed everywhere. Uh, this pond is essentially a 100-gallon Rubbermaid tote or stock tank. Uh, and I bought it last year and it had these bulkheads already installed. Now you can see they kind of aren't leaking anymore. This one is actually still dripping, it looks like. The water is a little bit low, so I will be adding some water to it. Uh, we're supposed to get some thunderstorms the next couple days. It's also supposed to be in the 90s here in South Jersey. So perfect time for more pond setup. Um, again, the netting, uh, my friend Lisa gave me last year. It's the netting for a wrestling ring, I think, or an MMA ring. Um, and it's great. I don't think the holes are big enough. So I did buy some more stuff that I'm going to try. This pond has no filter. Actually, it does have a sponge filter in it. Um, but I just use it basically for air. Of course, the air stone fell out. So I'm going to take that filter out. Uh, this is my 120, 130 gallon mutt guppy system. Same system I had last year. I have made some changes already. Smooth the food. Uh, this one also has these, I can't remember the name, I suck. Um, water hyacinths, boom. And we can see the water's not flowing in it and I'll, I'll explain why in a second, but we got this 60 gallon Laguna tote. This 60 gallon Laguna tote, you can see the tops are different. This is netting that I tried last year. Not a huge fan, but it does do the job. And you can see inside easily. I really like this light diffuser. Um, it lets everything in, lets everything out, except dragonflies, which is what we want. We don't want dragonflies in there. Um, but it's rigid and, uh, you know, it is what it is. It does it, the job and I actually like it better than the netting. You can see we have some tools and some, some tape over here, and I'll explain why in a second. Um, these bulkheads over here, you know, these totes, they're, they're fairly inexpensive. Um, cheaply made, I don't know if that's a good word, but the plastic is thin. And so uh, sometimes the bulkheads leak. And so I, have the, I had the tools out here to tighten them. You can see this one still has a little bit of a leak so we got to work on that uh what do i have here you might be saying well hopefully the air conditioner isn't too loud you can hear me this is a styrofoam um shipping box that you know i get some of my wholesale orders in and i decided to use this because for a while it was chilly at night and i was going to start this system up and i was hoping by the suggestion of a subscriber the heat from the pump and maybe one heater would heat the water enough to keep guppies out here 
uh, overnight, you know, when it, when it was a little chilly. We're, we're, we're into summer right now, so I don't think I'm gonna need that, but I'm gonna save, I'm gonna use this anyway, cause you know, I cut the styrofoam top, I cut the, you know, the, where the, the blue line comes out, um, and it's gonna keep bugs out. So, and it will keep the water warmer, which is always better, but uh, I do have a problem. This, this blue line that I've used now for a year is leaking from here. Um, I think there was too much stress on it. So I have to secure it somehow. I think I'm just gonna use uh, wire ties to secure it up. And uh, so I have to get a new one of those. I was at Home Depot this morning at 6.15 and of course I forgot because like I said, I'm an idiot. So what else do we have over here? We have the 90 gallon Pleco Pond, which I'll set up in another video. We have one, two, three more ponds going up. You can see there's filters in them. They're brand new. Again, just using them for air because I don't have air stones. But I sell seeded sponge filters on my website. So those are brand new filters that, you know, haven't been seeded yet. Again, just using them for air. I'll probably end up leaving them in there year round. And then at the end of the season, I'll sell them as seeded sponge filters. But uh, the tubs, really nothing in them. This one has a little guppy grass, some, some other weeds and stuff. I don't really care. This thing is pretty old. I've had it for three years. The other one of these I have is cracked. Um, I'm not sure this is actually gonna hold water, so I'm gonna check it and see if it holds water uh, before I, I put it, you know, put fish in there, obviously. About 20 gallons, about 20 gallons, about 15 gallons. This is an old toad I found at work when we were moving, um, you know. There's dirt and stuff in it, I don't really care. The fish won't mind. You can say I lifted everything up simply because I'm a fat guy who doesn't like to bend. You can certainly keep them on the ground. I did level everything, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to set these up. I'll come back and show you what they're, you know, how they are and what they, what they are and how I set guppy ponds up. Again, I'm all into the simple, the cheap and the cost effective. So go ahead and refill your snack and beverage if you need to. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, fishy folks, the ponds are almost ready. I use this, uh, like I said, light diffuser. Um, here's the, the name of it, if you will, Plastic Plascolite Inc. Bought it at, at the Home Depot. Uh, I think all the big box stores have it. I forget how much it was. It was a couple dollars per sheet. Um, and you can cut it with scissors. It's really easy you just put the scissors in like this and cut and go you know this way so you're putting the scissors in vertical not horizontal but vertical um so i got all the ponds covered if you notice this is a smaller blue tote because the pink tote which is over there uh as soon as i touched it it cracked you know it was a ten dollar tote two or three years ago so and it's been outside because i didn't i didn't you know do anything by uh by putting it inside and, and maintaining it. So here's the pond setup. Let me just show you. I have a sponge, small sponge filter with uh, basically just using using it uh, for air, for circulation and aeration. Um, and that's, that's all it is pretty much. Um, same thing in here. There's some guppy or some java moss in here. No fish yet, um, but you know, fish will be soon you'll see that in another video the mutt guppy ponds are up and running there's lucas working hard say hi to everyone lucas he's so excited uh so here let me show you what i did over here uh, i replaced that blue hose i propped up the pipe so it doesn't uh put extra tension on that connection uh, i did put teflon tape where the blue hose threads into that gray connector. And uh, there's the pump right there. That is that Eco 396, 396, 394. It's a pump I talk about every year. Um, I found about it from Aqua Pro, same with that blue hose. I'll put links down below in the description to Amazon. It will be an affiliate link. Uh, just another way to help support the channel in these tough times. But I'm actually pretty happy with the way this came out. Uh, hopefully this thing doesn't explode on me and I lose all the water. Um, 
it's really not that big a deal. If let's just say this thing leaked, then the water would leak on the ground, which I don't really care about. And the ponds wouldn't empty. They'd only empty as low as the overflow. I did tighten these. It does appear that we do have a drip still. So I have to go back and either tighten them or figure out a better, better method of sealing them. So, all right, folks, the next thing we have to do is put mutt guppies in these ponds. I'm gonna go downstairs today. I'm gonna pick out a bunch of mutts for each tote and uh, I'll show you those and I'll show you those going in. If you need to refill your snack and beverage and stand by. All right, fishy folks, I've picked my mutt guppy breeding stock for my outside breeding for profit mutt guppy tub system. The 130-ish gallon, we'll call it, tiered system with the Laguna totes. We'll have, one of them will have these guppies in it. You can see all the different genetics I've chosen. Many large plump females, some smaller uh, females and males, and of course, a couple of really nice stunner males, including that uh, blue delta in the back. There's a smaller uh, Dumbo Red Mosaic Firework that I'm gonna throw up in there. Uh, there are some red Cobras, some red blonde Cobras, some pink Flamingos, yellow Guppies, all kinds in this, this one over here. And then in this one, we have some more. You can see there's a nice stunner Red Mosaic Dragon that I have in the fish room. Had a, an extra male I figured I'd throw in there. I did throw in some Platinum, Fire and Ice Platinums which are now available on michaelsfishroom.com. Uh, I threw in a blue variated that isn't really blue variated, it's more of a mutt. You can see the male in there. And quite a few different females. So I'm really hoping the genetics we get out of these will create some stunning, stunning mutt guppies, which as you know are my favorite mutt guppies. This, this time of year is really my favorite, the mutt pond guppy extravaganza that starts. I mean, this and you know Christmas because they get presents and my birthday because I get presents, Thanksgiving because there's lots of food. You know, they're all my favorite times of the year. You know what I'm saying? No, I really enjoy the Mutt Guppy Pond season. And uh, I'm looking forward to putting these in a tub and seeing what we get and documenting the progress. So uh, I'm going to go uh, put these in the tub and, and film that for you guys. So, uh, you know, hope you're liking it. Leave a comment down below as to what you're doing for ponds. And uh, I'll see you outside. All right, fishy folks, we're back outside in the backyard at the Mutt Guppy Pond system. Uh, I was smart and I moved the lids, you know, the, the, the tops, the coverings that I have to protect from the aliens already, because I'm gonna do this one-handed. So here we go. We're gonna put this, these specimens into this tote right here or tub swim be free and multiply and then we're going to take this delicious unit right here look look at them all they're so sexy looking and we're going to pour them right in there let's put the put this back on swim uh, you know what i have a bucket full of java moss i have to get and put in here as well I will go do that, but you don't need to see me put java moss in, in a guppy pond. So that's the mutt guppy pond system working. Now, here's the deal, folks. It's supposed to be warm the next couple days, but if it cools off a little bit, the, the guppies will be okay. Really guppies in 60 degree water, you know, the, the only problem you would notice is they're not gonna produce as fast. They'll still probably make babies, just really not as fast or as many. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the hot weather, causing them to, you know, boom, chicka, boom, boom, if you know what I'm saying. So two Laguna totes, I'll put links on Amazon for Amazon. Uh, they're pretty expensive though, if you don't buy them wholesale like I did, so. You know, if you want to buy them, they're great. They work great for uh, for these this project. Um, we have the Rubbermaid 100 gallons. Oh, that's don't look at that. That's for another video. Then we have these three smaller ones, which are going to put specific strains in, and then the uh, the Pleco Pond, which I'll do a whole nother video. I'm not really ready to set it up yet. I I have to configure a a covering for it. 
And uh, I'm not even gonna clean it out because those pluckers are gonna love that stuff for the mom. All right, fishy folks, don't look at that. Hope you guys liked it. Leave comments down below what you're doing for your guppy ponds, if you're doing any. And if you have any questions, just let them, let me know down in the comments. See ya. Hi, fishy folks, and welcome to Michael's Fish Room. Today, a pond-centric video all about guppy ponds. My outside guppy ponds, I've added some more. I've changed them. I got an itch. We're going to start this again.